Sometimes curiosity awakens new feelings, you never know where intrigue, the desire to explore or just talking to a stranger will lead you. These are stories that are not far from reality, get ready and come with me to see three creepypasta stories that are very close to reality. Once upon a time there was a group of Boy Scouts named Tom, Sarah, Mike, and Lucy. One day, during one of their adventures in the woods, they found an old abandoned cabin. Curious, they decided to enter to explore it. Inside the cabin, they found a dusty old toy that looked very interesting. Without thinking twice, they started to play with him. At first, everything seemed normal, but suddenly, strange things started to happen. The toy began to move on its own and make disturbing sounds. The children tried to get rid of the toy, but could not. Each time they tried, the toy would return to their hands, as if something or someone was preventing them from letting go. After a while, one by one, the children began to mysteriously disappear. Tom was the first to disappear, followed by Sarah. Mike and Lucy tried looking for them, but couldn't find any leads. Shortly after, Mike also disappeared, leaving Lucy alone and terrified in the cabin. She tried to run away from it, but the toy was chasing her as if she wanted to stop her from leaving her. Finally, Lucy disappeared too, without a trace. No one saw the four Boy Scouts ever again. People said that the cursed toy had taken them to a dark and scary place, where they would never see the light of day again. Since then, the cabin in the woods has been considered a haunted place and no one dares to go near it. They say the cursed toy is still there, waiting for its next victim. Matthew was a long-time trained engineer, having been working on the same route for almost 50 years. Matthew used to drive his train in the afternoon, and there were usually only a couple of passengers. One day, a particular passenger caught Matthew's eye. He was a middle-aged man traveling alone. The man had a calm and collected presence, and seemed unafraid to speak to Matthew. He introduced himself as John and told her that he had once been an engineering student on the same route. Matthew was curious and asked about his past, to which the man told him that he had passed away 12 years ago. John explained that he had been sent to the other world, where he had been working for the gods as a kind of messenger. Matthew looked at John in amazement, but the man told him that his work here on earth was not finished yet. He had come to fulfill a mission, and that was to guide the dead to the other world. Then, the man told him that what Matthew was driving all those years was not just any train, but the train that took people to the other world. Matthew was moved by what the man told him. He understood that what he had been doing all those years was not just a job, but also a noble mission. With this, John mysteriously disappeared. Matthew never saw him again, but he always remembered his words. From then on, Matthew always strove to do his job with a noble mission. This is the story about Luke, a young man who found an ancient book that granted any wish but on the first page it had an inscription that said be careful what you ask for, but he ignored it and while the book grants every wish something bad happens to him, Luke more and more he loses the memory of his friends and family until he doesn't remember anyone and lives so alone that all the luxuries he asked for are of no use to him and he wants to undo everything but the book won't let him. In the end Luke ends up cut off from the world and lives as a hermit in a cabin in the woods with no memories or luxuries. One day a woman who is walking through the woods, seeing Luke, asks him why he is sad, he tells her everything, she tells him that this book is under a spell and the only way to get rid of the spell is to get rid of the most intimate memory. After thinking for a while, Luke decides to deliver the memory of her mother that although he did not remember her face, he had memories of moments with her. So when he told the book that he would renounce that intimate memory, the burning book and all the memories returned to Luke, he was able to remember faces of friends and relatives except that of his mother who he did not even remember. It is said that that strange woman who visited Luke was his own mother who sacrificed herself for her son to be happy again. The Abandoned Hospital it was a typical Saturday night for a group of friends looking for some excitement, they had heard rumors about an abandoned hospital on the outskirts of town and decided to explore it, little did they know. They were about to encounter something far beyond their wildest nightmares, the hospital had been abandoned for years and was in a state of disrepair, broken windows, peeling paint, and overgrown weeds greeted them as they approached the entrance, once inside. The group was immediately hit with a musty smell that seemed to cling to everything in the building, as they made their way down the dark, eerie hallways, strange sounds could be heard, footsteps echoing in empty rooms, doors creaking open and shut on their own, despite their growing unease. The group pressed on, determined to uncover the secrets of the abandoned hospital, as they reached the basement, they noticed that the air was significantly colder and a strange mist hung in the air, 
in the middle of the room stood an old hospital bed. Complete with restraints and stains that looked suspiciously like dried blood, suddenly, a loud noise echoed through the room, causing the group to jump in terror, they quickly realized that it was coming from the room next door, and cautiously approached it, as they peered through the door. They saw a figure standing in the shadows, at first, they thought it was just a trick of the light, but as the figure stepped forward, they realized it was a woman in a tattered hospital gown, her face was twisted into an expression of pure hatred, and she began to move towards them. Her eyes locked onto theirs, the group tried to run, but it was too late, the woman had already reached out and touched one of them, causing him to scream in agony, as they turned to run, they realized that the door they had entered through was now locked. Trapped and alone in the abandoned hospital, the group soon discovered that they were not alone, the spirits of the patients who had died in the hospital seemed to be all around them, and they were not happy about the intrusion, as the night wore on. The group was tormented by ghostly visions and terrifying apparitions, they were never seen or heard from again, and the abandoned hospital became known as one of the most haunted places in the world. Jane always had a fascination with antiques and rare objects, one day, she came across an old antique shop and decided to take a look inside, while browsing, she stumbled upon a beautiful, ornate mirror that immediately caught her eye. The shopkeeper informed her that it was a rare piece from the 18th century and had been used by wealthy families, Jane was thrilled to have found such a treasure and immediately bought it at the auction, when she brought the mirror home, she noticed that her house felt different. As if it had an eerie presence, but she shrugged it off as just her imagination, however, as the days passed, strange things started happening, she would see shadows moving in the corner of her eye and hear whispers when no one else was around, she also began experiencing vivid nightmares. Where she felt like she was being sucked into another dimension, one night, she was gazing into the mirror and saw her reflection start to blur, suddenly, she felt herself being pulled into the mirror and found herself in a completely different world, she was surrounded by a dark, twisted landscape with grotesque creatures lurking in the shadows, she tried to scream but no sound came out of her mouth, she felt trapped and alone, with no way to escape, after what felt like hours, she was suddenly jolted awake in her bed, gasping for air. Jane knew that the mirror was cursed and had to get rid of it, she returned it to the antique shop and warned the shopkeeper about its dark powers, from that day on, she never bought another antique item without thoroughly researching its history and background. The Hill House It was a dark and stormy night when a group of friends decided to spend the night in an abandoned house on top of a hill, the house had a reputation for being haunted, but the friends were skeptical and eager for an adventure as they explored the dusty old rooms. Strange things began to happen, doors opened and closed by themselves, and they heard eerie whispers coming from the shadows, but it wasn't until they found a hidden room in the basement that things really took a turn for the worse, in the hidden room. They discovered an old diary that told the story of a family that had lived in the house many years before, the family had been cursed by a vengeful witch, and their spirits were said to haunt the house to this day, suddenly. The friends found themselves being chased by the ghostly apparitions of the cursed family, they tried to run, but the doors were all locked, and there seemed to be no escape, as the sun began to rise, the friends were found huddled together in a corner of the house, shaken and terrified. They vowed never to return to the house of the hill, and to never underestimate the power of the supernatural again.